Hi guys, today I've come shopping in Stoke-on-Trent of all places. Um, I have a friend here and I'm visiting and so I decided to do a shop with me but a little bit different and we're going to be looking at high street coats. This is gorgeous. I don't like the pockets no. but I really like the colour. Like military. Okay. It's not what I thought it was going to be. Initially I put it on and I thought I don't like this at all because it feels like a jersey material. It feels like... Um, I don't know, you know, like I'm wearing a big thick t-shirt and I do think I could probably size down this to 12, which is my regular size. Um, however, on, it kind of looks like something like between, yeah, oh, I love the colour, but something between like a, um, a duster jacket. Yes, that's exactly what I was going to say. Like a, a winter coat and a duster jacket. I think without the pockets. Though. Yes, I really don't like the pockets. The pockets just draw the attention to I, I could do with the pockets, I just don't like the, this. Then to smaller size. No. But I do, I do you know, even even in this size, I'm quite enjoying like the slouchiness. I like it with the jeans. Right, so for you, it's not long enough because you want it to- I want it- To, to the end to of the your end skirts. Of the skirt. Oh, I like it. The pockets aren't- I, I didn't really, I, when you're actually seeing them on the, the coat, but like you don't notice them so much when you're looking straight ahead. It is a really but, nice, just throw it on. Yeah. Of. And again, like you said, this is my color. Yeah, like, totally. This is a lot like the one um, that I just bought from Primark. The thing that I don't like about this is this. So I'm assuming this is like, is this so you can make it tighter across there? What is the purpose of this? Oh yeah, I'd imagine. Oh, it's oh. double breasted. Oh yeah. Well, double breasted inside. So it would look nice when it was on, but like, I think that looks like you, you're waiting I to be plugged in. winter coats look nice open though. Yeah, so then that, so that kind of ruins the whole lines of it. Like you're waiting for something like a, a charger. This is really nice too. This is 60 pounds. That last one we showed you was 80. Seems pricey, um, but a nice black option. So we've got this one that's 40. In the, I mean, I gotta say, this feels like, like the one I bought from Primark is nicer than this. This looks, I don't know what, they just looks like it's not very expensive. I think 40 pounds is quite expensive for a coat. Not quite expensive, it's reasonable, but it's quite expensive for it to look cheap. Um, and then they have one in gray, which I think the gray looks a little bit better. I want a coat like this. Casual. You're know, like, I've got my leggings on. I'm going out, but no other coat's gonna go. I was gonna say, but nothing else. But nothing else. But Just no the leggings and a big coat. Is gonna go, and you want something casual, but I know what you mean. I, I like the idea of it, but it's like the big teddy bear coats. Lots volume, of like, lots of volume. Like the Michelin man. This is a problem that I have with anything like this, like big furry coats as well. And that color is. Is it bronze? It's bronze, it's got a sheen. Mm. Okay, we're next now, and um, I don't know if this is really coming up the proper color because it kind of looks a little bit more pink. It's kind of like a, a rust. It's more orange, I think, than it comes up on camera. Um, this is really nice, I like this. It's just like, you know, like a, really a tuxedo-y. Herring bone. Yeah. This is, again, too much volume for all. I've got a black one that I wore loads last year, but I don't like the Fantastic black and the yeah. it's too much. Yeah, I know what you mean. I wouldn't want like the furry, this part. If they just took the fur off that. But I like the white. Yeah, because it's less. I really like that. Less of a contrast. I feel like I had a coat like that like 15 years ago. Would you say that was lilac? I, that's a full blue for me. Cornflower, lilac. Yeah, okay, yeah. I concede it cornflower. I love a red coat. Love. It's just like Christmas. Kind of the same as the white one though. See, if I was going to have a white coat, this is like Olivia Pope. This coat to me is um, Reader Manhattan. Oh, yes. When she's like got the two little neck on and the little boots. That's yeah. so funny because when we were shopping the other day, Emma and I, we saw like some stuff in the corner that was like all creams and I said exactly the same thing. Yeah, this is a coat. I had to try on the kind of tuxedo we one. This is super 70s. I'm really feeling, like I've been, I've been listening to a lot of Stevie Nicks. I'm really feeling the 70s vibe recently. What do we think? I like that. It's more structured than the other one. Yes. It does match my hair, but is it, does it match my hair to the point where it's like blends in with the coat? No, not that extent. See, this is this is the seventies vibe that I would want, not the corduroy one that we saw. This is more. Yeah, no, I like that. I'd want to wear it with flares and a, a white shirt. Solves some mysteries. Okay, I tried this coat on in the Primark in the Primark in the top shop near us, um, and I looked absolutely insane, fully like a bear. This was not a coat for me. I think for this kind of style though, the length as yeah. well. Yeah, it totally needs to be longer. To look down as well. But I love it. Shell's just pointed out, they've got Adidas poppers. It is 15 years ago. This is a little bit longer. I wonder if I could pull this off. Oh my God, I love it. This is different. <gasps> Shell, this is different. This is different. This is not, the other one was like really, really big and short. And this, I think the 
Oh, do you? You think it's better than the, the brown colour? Yeah, I think it's a better colour for you. Oh, I love this. Oh my god. It's 70 pounds. I know it's from Topshop, but I feel like a lot, because it's not that same like plush material, it doesn't feel expensive. 70 pounds is a lot. Maybe it'll be in the sale. I'm gonna have like a massive list to look out for on Black Friday at this rate. Look at the pink one. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god, Chill. they do this in khaki. I saw this on an Instagram account and I actually wanted to try it on. Do you remember Kate Moss did a collection of Top Shop years ago and she had like a PVC mask? I remember the very, collection, I didn't remember the mark. Oh, I like this too, I know this is not what we're here for, but there's tons of jumpers like this. And I think that they're selling me on crop jumpers now. I might. Okay, shawl has got me in this, and I mean, I haven't seen it floor length yet. I haven't seen it like in a full length mirror, but I don't hate it. Okay, she's also um, kitted me out with some Matrix sunglasses, which I think make the whole look. I think you'll agree. I don't hate this. I mean, it's an acquired taste. For me, it's the right length. That's the length. Yes, this is the length that's that the you length. want. Well, I think if I had managed to find the khaki oh, one, I could have been sold on this whole idea. And it's like, it doesn't feel as weird as I thought that it would. Um, I like it. <laughs> I know it's a lol, but... Okay, this, these are not necessarily my colours, but again, if you're talking, oh no, I can't put my... need to unstitch the um, pockets. I really miss putting my hands in pockets. This is a 10, was it? I'm sure this was a 10. I think I probably need an 8. It's really big um it's i'm like i like the coat i would have to be wearing like all black underneath it although the red lip ties us in a little bit but it's not really my color scheme so like the model if we were gonna say she was a style icon not my style icon but our style icon um all black that works i've actually ordered these trousers from the plus range the leather, leather trousers. Mm -hmm. Leather, but I'm not sure. I would want skinnier trousers if, in leather trousers. I await that post, shawl. But I like a leather, I like a pink, pink back waist. Right, we've taken a brief um, step into quiz because we didn't think there would be tons of winter coats, but this is quite nice. The problem is, 60 pounds. I said this before, but there's like certain shops where you expect to pay, pay a certain amount of money. And even this, like I really like this actually. But 25 pounds, I kind of thought it was going to be really inexpensive in quiz. It's not what it used to be. Um, there's a lot of party wear in there though. This seems to be just like an average coat price this year. Um, I like this, it's got some blue and some multicolored to it. You see close up, some of the different stitching. It's like they've just got kind of thrown in a little bit of colour as well, which is interesting. A leopard print wrap coat. Leopard print colour. Oh, yeah. Detachable. Oh. I like this again. I don't even know if that is a pocket. That might be a completely fake pocket. I would miss that. Might be? I can't tell. I can't tell. Um, but I like this. I like this kind of style, this slightly structured um, kind of suit. So jacket style, shawl. You're like, again, mm -mm. No, it's again though, one of those jackets where like the part on, you kind of got away with an all black. Oh yeah. All, Although I don't. With that, yeah. But you kind, you couldn't wear a pattern underneath it. No. That's what would bother me. What bothers me with coats like you can't just throw it. Over yeah, that's true. This couldn't be your only coat. No. Unless you only wear black or just plain colours. That is nice. You know that all of these are going to be super expensive. We're in Debenhams now. That's that is the average price. I quite like that one as well, that like furry one. I really like this colour, this kind of rust colour. Principles has got another furry one. This is 75. I love this colour though. It's coming up um kind of a bit more blue than it is in real life, but very pretty. And a leopard one. This is on this mannequin and it is an absolute beaut. How much is this one? 69. I'm really not feeling this kind of furry thing. For me, it's like either be a furry coat or don't. Something in between kind of looks, it does, it looks kind of a little bit cheap. Oh, see, nice. this is a bit different because I think because it's like um, all one color, this kind of wins me over slightly. I don't like this one, which in theory, is it not the same coat? Yeah. But I don't like this one. This one almost looks like pajamas. What you need to know is my opinions very wildly from moment to moment. Oh my God. Gangster no, film. I haven't. This is a surprise. Oh, something that you've seen that I haven't seen. Oh no, wait, with Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh no, that's Gangs of New York. Gangs of Washington. I was thinking of something completely different. No, I haven't seen American Gangster. This is like uh, very... Something you need to know about Charlotte is she hasn't seen anything. Anything. Apart from American Gangster, apparently. 
New Look is just the place to come if you want a coat, apparently. Various places we've been into, hardly anything. New Look is like throwing it out there. Loads of flip <gasps> green. Oh, that's so pretty. I don't, I think maybe, I don't know whether or not I would really wear it. It's a lot brighter on camera than it is in real life. It looks more yeah, like a deep. Black and yeah, but oh, and, and see, I will bring out my leopard coat from last year from Primark that I love. I wore it to death. More than I thought I would wear it, given that it's a crazy leopard print coat. These are really nice. $35.99. Good job, New Lock, for booking the £60 trend and loads of different colours. Primark also not letting us down on the coats. I mean, I don't love this one, but lots of coats. We're here for coats, but I would be remiss if I didn't point this out. Look at this. This is now the Chevron cardigan of dreams. It's really thick around here as well. It's like folded over. Ugh. I love it and look, look how the mannequin wears it so well. It's weird, they're like not into the clash of the prints. Not into that so much. This looks like a school mom. Peg, Peggy from Mad Men is Oh yes, the whole outfit. Yeah. Another leopard coat. I really like this one. This one's from Primark. And where is the price? 30 whole pounds. I like this one too, but it's in the sale. So the chances of you finding it are slim. This one I saw the other day when we did a shop with me. I just think there's something very chic about that for Primark. This again is one that I saw the other day. And if you look at it next to that one, um, you can see this is kind of a pink color. It's like a beige, but it's peach. more of a pink. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, kind of peachy. Um, in fact, you can see from the comparison of this, this is more of a regular kind of beigey tan. So if you think that that color doesn't really suit you, this is a nice alternative. While we're in Primark, I'll just tell you, I'm getting this leather skirt this because it's like a festive plaid how amazing is that that with like leggings for work it's gonna be great and then i think to go with the skirt i'm gonna get one of these we're gonna go out for um drinks and some food later on and i thought why not i'll get something new maybe black should i just go all black and then i've got some thigh high boots because i was feeling risque uh and that is gonna be my outfit love it's not as long as maybe you want it to be but it's long i also just found this which i tried on forever ago but i accidentally got a six i don't want to have to go into the changing room thinking i might pick up a 10 and a 12 it seems like it's gonna be a bit big uh i don't know i don't dislike that i mean it is i think the problem with most of this stuff is like we've seen it before and it reminds us of us being kids yeah but i wouldn't have worn i prefer this though you know the shorter length yeah i feel like it could be smaller yeah definitely a size smaller i swear this year every coat i've tried on i've needed to size down uh, in every store see that doesn't really add much bulk at all but like you said before like they all look better open. I've got a jumper, a cardigan on, or the aim is like a, what's the word? Wear it to walk the dog. Not that, to walk, I did that you like really are walking the dog, the dog though. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> what, what does that mean? What is that a euphemism for, Charles? <laughs> so no, so I'm, you actually want to be able to fasten it off. <laughs> well, I don't know. But they've got it layered with a hoodie. Yeah, no, I, I mean, well, Although, if you wore it with a hoodie underneath, then you could wear it open, because that is the style. It does look better open. She's got zipped. I mean, it's still zipped. I th and I think sizing down, but you size down two sizes, and then it's a lot less bulky. We finish shopping, we get some food and go home. Um, I wanted to try more coats on, but it's just like, exhausting coat shopping i don't know what it is i've said this before though when you go in a shopping center after a while i don't know if it's the recycled air or what it is but it's like more tiring than your average thanks to shawl for helping out shadowy faced shawl <laughs> for helping out trying on some coats um but hopefully that was useful for those of you that are looking for some coats in the high street please let me know where has yours come from this year are you wearing one from a previous year do you just have the one coat like yeah. a perfectly normal person or are you also a maniac like most of us mm -hmm. um i don't even want to count how many coats i've got coats are the what and they're difficult to store i've got a wardrobe full of coats that i shouldn't buy more but yeah, yeah. i do it's the one thing like where do you put them all i don't Especially have that kind of storage bulky space winter coats as well yes exactly i need to i keep thinking i'm gonna put hooks in the bathroom downstairs <laughs> is that crazy keep it's quite a it. big bathroom it is anyway anyway um yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Just slotting this in as an honorable mention from Tesco because this is perfect. It's thin enough that it's not adding so much bulk, but it just like looks fluffy and snowy and perfect. Every time I'm going out, the same things keep happening.